more ancient history jewelry stories. It's Friday, which means it's time for birthstone stories. So today we have diamonds part two, some historical examples. We're gonna start with the earliest known diamond in recorded history. Now, I'm sure there are examples of older diamond jewelry out there, but as of yet, we don't know about them. This is what's known as the Briolette of India. The earliest record of this dates back to the 12th century. The first record of this stone pops up when it makes its way to Europe, where it was most likely stolen during the Second Crusades. It originally belonged to the Nawab of Punjab, essentially the local royalty, and it probably wasn't originally cut in this beautiful briolette shape, but it was probably originally a rough diamond or a pulky cut, which has very few flat facets. The briolette of India currently weighs about 90 carats. Next up, we have a cursed diamond. This is what's known as the Black Orlov. This is about 67 carats of black diamond, and it was stolen in the 19th century by the British from India. Like many stolen diamonds, it has an origin story that claims that it was the eye in the statue of a Hindu idol, this time a statue of the god Brahma. This next one is one of my favorites. This is the Darya e Noor. This is a pale pink diamond, and pink is a very rare color of diamond. This weighs 67 carats. This is part of the Iranian royal jewels, and when I saw that I thought, oh nice, something that wasn't stolen by the British, but it turns out that it was stolen by the British in the 19th century and was eventually sold to Iran. And last but not least, we have what I think is probably one of the most famous diamonds aside from the Hope Diamond. This is the Kohinoor Diamond. This stone has been at the center of what I can only describe as a custody battle between India and England since the 1940s. England claims the stone was given to them, and India claims the stone was given to them under duress, which I am inclined to agree was probably the case. Further muddying the waters, other countries that claim ownership of the stone and have demanded its return include Pakistan, Iran, and Afghanistan. It was not intentional that all four stones I put down on this list were stolen by the British, but it is generally par for the course with large significant diamonds. The majority of them were stolen by the British from India. On next week's birthstone video, we're going to delve into the marketing campaign that saw diamonds skyrocket in popularity in the 20th century, and I'll also talk a little bit about conflict stones as well as blood diamonds, both the actual definition and its pop culture perception. 